All right, so recently got this Lance 825 truck camper, and it was a really good compromise between the travel trailer we had, which we really did not like, and the Class C that we used to have. So this is kind of like our compromise, and it's got the best of both worlds. You can always put a brand new truck under it if necessary, and obviously Lance is a very good brand. So just doing a few upgrades to it. Uh, the battery that came with it, it came with a single dual purpose, you know, semi deep cycle marine slash RV battery. And no, most of the batteries that normally come with your campers, they have a large single battery. It's really meant to be a starting battery with some deep cycle usage, so they work decent for RVs. But let's face it. If you're going to be doing any kind of boondocking or you're going to be doing any kind of camping um, in the wilderness, you're going to need to upgrade your battery situation. So my battery was in not that great a shape. I couldn't even get the jacks all the way up and down uh, without the battery running down. So I decided it's time for an upgrade. All right, so in the Lance, the battery is kept inside and it's kept under the seats here in the dinette area. And there's, it's a pretty complex electrical system. Uh, there's a tri-metric uh, TM2030 uh, battery monitoring system, which is pretty cool. It uses a shunt to uh, determine you know, the capacity of the battery. It can also tie into solar. And I will be upgrading to solar in the RV in another video. And it's very easy. Uh, this Lance 825 was completely pre-wired for solar. So there's a connection on the roof. And then the wires just terminate in here. This is your line from your solar for your positive, and the negative is already terminated on the block. So this is what it looked like before with the single battery in here. And the way it was set up, there was no room for any more batteries. So all I had to do was remove uh, all of the, uh, you know, cabinetry that they built inside of here in the battery box and just took out the battery box the way it was and there's definitely room for two uh, six volt golf cart batteries and that is the common upgrade because golf cart batteries uh, have a lot more capacity and we're going to be more than doubling our way more than doubling our amp hour capacity and our, our charging capacity and runtime. And we're gonna put two six volt batteries in series, which will make it 12 volts, and it will charge the exact same way. In the Lance Camper, it's got a vented battery compartment, and it actually had a vent on the bottom of the old compartment and a vent on the top. And that's just to let any kind of, uh, when the acid boils off, it gives off, uh, or actually an explosive gas and it will set off your uh, gas detector in the RV. Obviously it's not a good idea to have that floating around in here so that's why they have the vents. So we're going to utilize those factory vent locations. One thing I had to do was move this terminal block here, this negative terminal block, up onto this wall. Then I moved the positive terminal block up here and uh, the space is plenty big for the two batteries. I'm going. To, what I did is, I purchased a battery box on eBay that is the exact size for two six volt golf cart batteries, and I started to modify it to work for this application. So here's the battery box that I purchased, and it did not have the vents on it. I have added those. So what I did is, I took the top out of the old factory or the old battery box. I cut it out and then glued and bolted it to the top of this one. So it's uh, got an airtight seal. So this will be my vent for the top. It comes out of the battery box when the lid is on. You can see I just cut that out of the old top here. And then I just bought a battery vent actual kit for this bottom one here, because I already had it lying around. So I just drilled a hole in the inside this will be where the air comes in or out or however and allows the air to escape through the top so you can keep it vented so that'll connect right to that vent that's already in there so we can fit our two 
We got T115 golf cart batteries that go in here. Uh, from all the research I did, as far as your wet cell uh, 6 volt batteries, Trojan is the best brand to buy. But you have to have a place locally that sells them. And unfortunately, where I live, I would have had to drive halfway across the state to get some Trojan uh, 6 volt batteries. And they're pretty expensive. So. The Rural King by me had the 6 volt golf cart batteries and they don't have quite as much capacity but they're also less than half the cost. They were $79 each. So you do get what you pay for but we're going to give them a shot. They're still, like I said, way more than double the capacity in amp hours of the single battery that I have in there. So we're going to go ahead and bring this over to the RV and I'm going to show you how I'm going to install everything. Alright, so I just trimmed off the little bit of excess hose, so we don't need so much. There's our battery box. We'll go in here like this. We'll connect the hose on the outside. And it'll just set down in here. So I've got the battery box in, secured this panel here. That's the battery disconnect switch is mounted on that. And it'll give it a little bit of a face so we can still store just a little bit of stuff in here. Got the first battery in, I went ahead and secured the battery box to the floor with a couple screws to get it from sliding around. And this thing's in motion. I'll go ahead and lower the other battery in there. Then we can make our connections. So when you're converting to 6 volt batteries, you want them to be what's called in series, which means they're connected together and the voltage is added together from each battery. So if you were connecting them in parallel, you would just tie the negatives together and run them and the positives together and run them. That's if you had like two 12 volt batteries. But since we want to make 12 volts out of this, we connect the negative to the positive on one of the batteries and then you get 12 volts at your positive and your negative connection. So we'll just use a little jumper wire that's meant for this to connect the negative to the positive on this battery here and then we'll get 12 volts out of the whole system. Alright, so how it works is each battery itself is obviously like 6.04 volts But then when you put them together, you get your 12 volt battery. So we're going to go ahead and tighten everything down, reconnect the battery system. And in this case, in my RV, I have a Progressive Dynamics uh, four stage charging system, the converter. So I'll be, like I said, I'll be adding a solar charger in another video, but for now, it uses the four stage charger, which means it has a trickle charge or a float charge when the batteries are fully charged, so it doesn't do any damage. And then when the batteries are low, it uses a super high 14 volt uh, charge, and then it can slow down to a 13 volt charge. Basically, it's in order to make the batteries last a lot longer and charge them appropriately. If you have an older RV and you're doing this upgrade, and it just has a single stage charger, you will destroy your batteries very fast. That's why a lot of people have to replace their battery every year or two, versus if you have a more modern multi-stage charger, your batteries could last 10 years. As long as you do a little bit of maintenance, and you need to check the water in the batteries every six months or so, because it can boil off inside when it's charging rapidly. So you wanna make sure you use only distilled water and keep your batteries topped off, but that'll make them last a lot longer. So we're just making our connections. First we'll connect the positive side over here to the positive. And make sure all the corrosion is taken off. If you have any. Just make sure you don't bump your wrench from your positive to your negative terminal. That would be very bad. OK, 
Okay. We'll take our negative, which will come in over here. that down good our battery monitors come to life here so we're a little low 12.2 volts so we'll put a chart we'll get the charge started here in a minute to do that all I need to do is flip the battery switch you see the charger has just flipped on it's analyzing the batteries and We'll go ahead and apply the proper voltage to charge them. Now we just have to put the cover on, put our top vent on. It's not easy setting it on. Right. And then it just goes on there like that. And that is our finished product. So that's a very easy way to upgrade the capacity in your RV. In our case, like I said, we're more than doubling the capacity by doing this. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Like and subscribe for more videos on upgrading this camper.